Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a Minecraft world that you've been building and playing for a long time, and you don't really want to see go. And like me, after seeing 1.8 changes, you realize that the new terrain chunks would be far away due to the fact that you've explored the world so much. Well, fear not, for I have just the thing you need. It's easy to use, simple to understand, and it actually allows you to keep all your precious builds. So follow me, and let's edit this world together. First off, follow the link in the description and download the program. It will be called Amulet Editor. This is what we will use to edit our world. You might notice it looks pretty janky, but that's fine, you know, it's simple. When you scroll through the folder, you will find this little icon, and it will be called amuletapp.exe. Click it, and the program will launch. It looks janky like I said, but hey, it's free, and it's very simple to use. Once inside, navigate to the Java tab and find your world. This is important. Before you do anything, make a copy. It's only maybe 500 megabytes to a gigabyte. You can spare the space on your computer. Trust me. If something goes wrong, you don't want to mess up your entire world and have no way to come back to it. Simply click your world and go into the 3D editor. It will take a while to load. Just let it go. You know, there's a hundred chunks or there's way more than a hundred chunks. There's like a thousand chunks, but just let it chug and then you will load into your world. You'll spawn wherever your player spawned last, or logged off last, should I say. And apparently my guy's in the ocean, which is strange, but you know, let's keep going. I'm just gonna teleport back to my main area and begin the editing process. So here we are, and as you can see, I have a big city built and it's full of structures and stuff I've built over the years, but we're gonna focus on the small village area I built recently over to the southeast. It's simple. When you click the square, that means you have selected a chunk, meaning that it's a 16 by 16 area that goes down to the bedrock and then you goes up to the height limit. Simply click it and then drag to select the area which you're going to keep. And then after you've selected everything, you click delete unselected chunks right over here. Once you click it, just leave it for a minute because it's erasing all the unselected chunks in the world that have been loaded and mine I've generated maybe a 10,000 chunks so it will chug for a bit then you can see that now now this is done but the outside area is gray meaning that there are no chunks generated and once you load up your world there will be an entirely new set of chunks and that is what we want that is what we want for our 1.8 world finally we're clicking the save icon it will save every single change you've made and it really takes a while so just leave it and let it do what it do let's keep it trucking along don't bother it let it set its own pace and you'll have your new world soon enough and i'll be back when the process is over so now you can see that it's saved you can safely close the app and this world and all of the amulets other windows and i'll meet you inside minecraft whilst my world is loading so now, as you can see, I've gone into 1.18, I have now selected this world that we've edited, and as you can see, we're loading the world as normal in just the regular Minecraft to load the chunks into the game. So you can see I've spawned in the same place as before, which means I'm suffocating, so let me quickly switch, fly to where I am in the actual world, and I'll show you what everything is about. I apologize for the low FPS, but you can see that it's generating hundreds of new chunks as I fly and it's generating below my base and above my base, mountains, valleys, everything, so it does take a hit on my FPS performance. And there you have it, my chunks are safe and you can see that they're surrounded by new unexplored 1.18 wilderness with all the new terrain, ores, blocks that you want, and perhaps the best of all, all of the old chunks still have the new ores below y equals zero since they have updated the world depth. So anyway guys, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful, I hope I didn't ramble too long, and I hope that your worlds will look as good as mine in the new 1.18 update. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.